Hello and good afternoon. I hope you're all keeping well. A warm welcome to our virtual open event. My name is Anesta McCullough and I'm the principal here at the Engineering UTC North Lincolnshire, or for short, we call it the ENL UTC. Because of the current environment, this is our first open event online. It's been recorded and broadcast to you from our homes across Lincolnshire. So thank you for joining us on this unique occasion. Today, you are going to hear about what makes our UTC special and different from traditional schools. You'll get a chance to hear about what our curriculum looks like, but also to listen from the staff and the students. There'll also be an opportunity to hear from some of the many company partners that we work very closely with. Our staff and students love about coming here to the UTC. It's gonna last around about 30 minutes, but there will be an opportunity to follow up with us after if you've got any further questions or require any further help or information. So our University Technical College was set up about five years ago now and is one of only 48 of the specialist university technical colleges across the country. There's a huge technical skills shortage among our county, but also nationally, which is why our specialist curriculum has been created to help deliver those key employability and technical skills, but also alongside both that core academic and STEM subjects. Really, in a nutshell, it's about an education today that will help set our students up for tomorrow's jobs. You can join our UTC in either year nine or year 12. You can see it in the background there, and we're based on Carlton Street, which is right at the heart and the centre of Scunthorpe Town. It's just a stone throw away from the main bus station and the main train station. It's a few more pictures there where you can see our purpose-built £12 million building. It's fully resourced with high quality equipment. We have engineering, manufacturing, workshops, classrooms, laboratories, IT suites, and much, much more. And our students, you can see in the pictures there, work directly with our local employers, and they work on real life exciting projects, which give them the unique opportunities that will put them ahead of the competition when they're going out there for their full-time jobs, apprenticeships, or university places, whichever pathway they decide to go. Our students come from us all over North Lincolnshire, even North East Lincolnshire, right up to Hull and across to Doncaster. So if you are interested and have a natural talent in STEM, engineering, problem solving or constructing, are age 13 plus, why not stay online and find out more about what the ENL UTC has to offer you? I'm gonna show you a short two minute clip now so that you can get a real flavor of what we're all about. Thank you. Loyal. Professional. Responsible. I recommend Engineering UTC because it is a school specific for engineering. It's fun to be here, you get to learn about how engineering works in the world. The Engineering UTC has definitely prepared me for my future. We go to the university days, they've told us what the whole process of getting into university is. I definitely recommend it because it's helped me become more of who I am and it's helped me get further in what I wanted to do. It is such a growing school and there's so many opportunities. You are at the start of something really special and it's just going to grow and grow over the years. I think it's the engagement with the employers that makes it a fantastic place for our learners and gives them the opportunity to see their learning in real life. Our main aim is to make sure students go on to achieve great things in the future. Our engineering results are second to none. They are miles above the national average. Every single student went on to phenomenal destinations, universities for further education, different engineering apprenticeships and roles. There are loads of opportunities for women out there in the engineering workforce. Not treated any differently than any other student. In mainstream schools, I was pushed more towards the health and social and cooking subjects, whereas here in the UTC, as a female, I am able to do the same opportunity as any other person. The lessons are amazing, like the teachers have always got time to speak to if you've got a problem. I think if you have an interest in engineering, then this is the chance for you to really go somewhere which absolutely is geared for your interest. Hello, I'm Nigel and I'm the Deputy Head Teacher. I'm really excited that we'll be introducing our second cohort of Key Stage 3 students in September 2020. Our curriculum 
is similar to other schools and colleges, including as it does the core elements of English, mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology, PE, and personal social and health education. We offer students the chance to study finance, to build their understanding of money and how it works in society. And year nine students have an opportunity to be involved in a variety of enrichment activities. However, our curriculum is different in that we immerse students in engineering with more than a quarter of the timetable taken up with practical work and projects. Whether it's T-nuts, V-blocks, center punch or scribe, year nine students will be involved in the design, drawing and construction of a variety of tools and components as part of those projects. Practical projects are created by our industry partners, building invaluable skills and knowledge needed by future employers. These continue into both Key Stage 4 and Key Stage 5. Joining us in Year 9 starts you off on a Key Stage 3 curriculum which prepares you for Key Stage 4 engineering and the pathways into an apprenticeship, full-time job with training or further education. Hi, my name is Zoe and I teach biology and engineering to Key Stages 3 to 5 and would like to tell you more about our fantastic Key Stage 4 curriculum available at the UTC. In years 10 and 11, our students are provided with a unique and varied curriculum designed to help our students within arguably their most important school years to develop the knowledge, skills and understanding required to access destinations within STEM industries. Our Key Stage 4 students are delivered a curriculum which encompasses the core subjects of maths, English and science, all to GCSE level, with the added benefits of more specialist subjects such as engineering manufacture and systems control in engineering. The engineering based subjects offered introduces students to the theory and practical aspects of designing, producing and testing the operation of electrical controls and systems control and engineering. Through lessons in engineering manufacture, taught by experts with a wealth of industry experience, our students gain experience of processes involved in transferring a design concept into a product. Our key stage four engineering curriculums encompasses lots of practical sessions with students having access to a well-equipped workshop, equipment and technology, all of which can be found within industry. Over the two years, learners will gain a wealth of experience and confidence within a realistic working environment with well-recognized qualifications and certificates at the end. This gives students coming towards the end of their secondary education a chance to be a step ahead of the competition in terms of accessing future careers within STEM and engineering. To personalise their study, students entering Key Stage 4 are asked to choose an option subject to supplement their curriculum. This could be Spanish for Business, Design or Biology, although more subjects are likely to become available in the future. In addition to our core academic subjects, PE forms a key part of each learner's timetable, along with enrichment sessions. Time dedicated to enrichment provides opportunities for students to work upon project work, to help the community, to practice their entrepreneurial skills, and to even enter national competitions such as the Royal Navy Challenge. Through teaching both biology and engineering, I understand firsthand how variety within the Key Stage 4 curriculum is important to not only engage and ignite learners, but to also provide them with maximum opportunities for future careers. In addition to more obvious engineering careers, the world of medicine, politics, aerospace, and even fashion, the list goes on and on really, are on the search for individuals who are versatile and are able to solve a problem with a professional attitude. 
all of which are established within the diverse UTC's Key Stage 4 curriculum. Hi, my name is Ian Bates um, and I'm the Head of Sixth Form here at the ENL UTC. And it's my pleasure to introduce you to a unique Sixth Form experience that we have here at the College. The Sixth Form is all about engineering your future. Now, you're probably aware that we work very closely with a large range of partners and it's, this is part of our unique experience that you work so closely with industry and all the projects that you do with us are driven by industry requirements and it's the industry people that will be meeting with you, setting your targets, setting deadlines and seeing the sort of work that you can do. Now we offer two pathways here. We offer an apprenticeship pathway and this is something new. It's a one year program. It's a Cambridge Technical Level 2 and an opportunity for you to sort of continue your studies and improve some of your grades from your GCSEs. So we offer maths and English and units one and two are examined units in engineering and then a practical unit, unit three, where you'll work in the workshop, developing your skills and making projects. Again, remembering that these projects are always driven by industry requirements and set by industry and set by our partners. Now the level three pathway is A level and the Cambridge Technical Diploma is worth two A levels and it involves 12 different units. Four of those are examined, maths, science, mechanical engineering, electrical, electronic engineering. And then there are eight other practical modules and these are all done in partnership with all our industries feeding into various different requirements for you to show your skills and ability and aptitude. It's not just about study. We have a great unique study environment. We have an engineering design office rather than a classroom. And that's a hot desk environment for you to be able to work with other students. But in addition to that unique working environment, we also offer lots of different trips and visits and activities that perhaps you wouldn't get anywhere else. So in the first couple of weeks of joining us in year 12, you have NCS, which is a community um, project where you go out and you uh, do a residential for two weeks. And you learn first aid skills. You get a first aid qualification that will last you three years. And some of the trips that we've done this year, and it's not always the same trips because we're always open to new opportunities, but we've visited Modal in Immingham, which is a marine training environment where you get an opportunity to use their simulators to actually drive ships and boats and try different sort of um, marine vehicles. We've got a good partnership with the RAF and we do um, teamwork and activities with them. We do the Royal Navy Challenge with an opportunity to stay on a battleship and develop your own robotic um, aquatic vehicles. Um, we've done projects with Kroll Railway, developing a railway carriage for an environmentally sustainable environment. Um, we're big on space, so we visit Leicester Space Centre. We have a careers fair there for you to go and look at universities and careers that possibly take you into aerospace engineering. Um, one of our students actually has a really good opportunity to study astronomy at Hull University, and that student's actually taken an opportunity with us to guide all of our year 10s through a space exploration program which she did with us in the college. Um, we have very good partnerships with the industries and we get lots of visits and going out to see their workplaces and ha have tours of their work environments and again it gives you an opportunity to sort of think you know I would like to do this in the future and that's where that phrase comes from that engineering your future. Destinations is really important to us. We really focus on what it is that you enjoy doing because you're going to be working for a long part of your life. And so we really want you to enjoy that future. So we look at what it is you enjoy, what it is you like, and we try and match that with the sort of careers and the part in the industries that you have around us, or we guide you towards the university place that you would really like to get. Some of our successful students, for example, Oliver Beck's got an engineering design um, degree course as part of his higher apprenticeship with a design company. Um, we've got um, one of our students from a few years ago, Tom Newton's actually a, a submariner working with the Navy um, and he's finished his submariner training and possibly right now is in a submarine somewhere around the world. A very exciting future. So if you're looking for a really exciting destination, if you're looking for somewhere that's going to really focus on, on what you enjoy and, and think about your engineering future, then hopefully you'll consider the ENL UTC. Thank you very much for listening.
Hello, my name is Natalie Oxburgh and I'm the Assistant Head Teacher for Professional Standards at the UTC. This covers pastoral care of students but it also covers behaviour. Um, at the UTC we're obviously still a school so we do have roles um, but what we try to do like everything is connect that to employability and business so that when students leave the UTC and go into whatever destination they so wish to they are ready for the world of work. Now we have three core values at the school which underpin absolutely everything and they're everybody's responsibility as well. So not just students but staff as well. And our behaviour policy which is available on the school website explains this in much more detail. What I'd like to do today though is just talk you through those core values in a little bit more detail so you've got an understanding of our way and what we represent. So what I'll do is I'll just share my screen with you um, so that I can talk through those in a little bit more detail. Now our way is just that, it's our way and it's what we believe sets us apart from every other educational provider in the local authority and maybe even beyond. Um, they're the things that make the UTC unique and the things that make the UTC the place that it is. So the first of those key values is about being professional. Now this is everything to do with employability skills and business behaviours that employers may well want to see in their place of work. So this is the day-to-day -day stuff. This is being sensible on the corridors. It's about being on time to school, attending school, it's wearing the right uniform. Now we don't have a uniform at the UTC as such, students wear a suit and they can pick their own suit. It can be the cut that they want it to be, the colour that they want it to be, but it's designed to be much more reflective of the workplace. Similarly, students don't call us miss or say, I mean, some do um, if they forget, but they can call us by their first name, by our first names. And we also, until recently, for obvious reasons, had to stop. We were shaking hands as well at the gate, saying good morning, shaking students' hands, making eye contact, because this is the most common way that people greet one another in the world of work. And actually, what they say is it takes seven seconds to form an impression, good or bad. And being able to go up to an adult, an employer, a potential boss and say, good afternoon, hold out the hand, shake the hand, make eye contact. That's a really valuable skill. So being professional is everything to do with those employability skills. A second core value is about being responsible. Now, this isn't just about taking care of yourself. This is about being responsible by having the right equipment. Again, it's turned up to lesson on time. It's those typical things. But one thing that is really different and a real focus for us at UTC is communication skills. We believe that students should be responsible with their voice. So students should feel empowered to have conversations with staff members about concerns with their work, for example. If things have gone wrong in a lesson or with another student or even with a teacher, we would encourage through restorative practices to repair that relationship and, and talk it out. Likewise, um, we do have a student voice and we think student voice is incredibly important. So we've got a group of students, anyone can volunteer to be part of this, called the Loyal Leaders and they discuss areas of school improvement which we will then implement and make changes if it's relevant, possible, um, and we'll make the UTC a better place. So that's how responsibility is key. Finally, the third core value is to about being loyal. And this is at the heart of everything that we do actually, um, because it's about representing the UTC in a really positive way and forging really strong relationships with businesses, with, people in the local community. So students are expected to represent the UTC well when they leave school. It could be that they represent the UTC well by helping out at events. Um, it could be that they do something for the local community. So recently the UTC has been working really hard to ensure delivery of PPE um, to places that need it. So we are all members of one team, we have positive regard for each other day to day and we work really hard to make sure the UTC is the best place 
to work, to study, beyond. Um, it's not just about those values though, these values filter in into everything. So yes, they filter into our school rules. You know, if a student turns up late every day to lesson, that is a little bit irresponsible. It is a bit unprofessional and there's going to be a consequence for like that, just like there would be anywhere, just like there would be if, if it was me that was always late to lesson. Um, however, it also filters into our praise systems. So you'll see these lovely badges. Um, every half term, we have a big praise assembly and students who meet the criteria for being a professional student for, the, for that half term, they will get the badge. And that's reset every half term as well because actually sometimes um, you know, things do go wrong. Sometimes people get ill, their attendance might go down, they might be late in for a variety of reasons. So we work really hard on making sure that the day-to-day -day is praised and everybody gets a chance to achieve all the time. You'll notice though that there's actually three little badges there and then an extra one on the end. I mean, these badges were highly sought after, including by staff. They are absolutely lovely. Um, but this fourth badge here is the over and above badge and students are awarded that if they do something that is just extraordinary, that they go above and beyond and they achieve that by a special nomination by a member of staff. Um, so, I'll just stop sharing. So that is professional standards at the UTC. If you would like any more information like classroom practices and how we implement these values on a day to day, the first place to go to is definitely that behaviour policy, which is available on our school website. But if there's any questions or you've got anything that you do want to know specifically, just let me know and I'll do my best to answer it. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jen Vincent from Engineering Northern Lincolnshire UTC. I'm the employer engagement lead here and bring together our industry partners and providers with students to ensure that all of our young people develop excellent employability skills and are prepared for the world of work. Our partners include some of the largest engineering and advanced manufacturing companies in the Humber region. So how do we work with them? We work on projects set by industry, take part in taster days, have mentoring masterclasses, class talks, work experience, mock interviews, the list goes on. We, we very much hold dear health and safety here. Health and safety is part of, of every single advanced manufacturing and engineering site. So we take part in, in passports with our young people and have health and safety talks. We have business lunches and speed networking. The mentoring happens with different companies and students. You may find that you start on a mentoring journey in year nine and don't finish that mentoring journey until year 13. We have university and site visits, work placements. Work placements, what we do is we do the work experience in year 10 and in year 12, but we also have days out in industry. So it might be if you're doing a project with a company, there might be a group of six of you. You'll go out, you'll look at what the project is, come back and work on it within the college at school environment, and then head back and present that to the company. We have industry projects. All of those projects can look very, very different. So it might be they've got a, the, a company's got a problem with a valve, but they bring the valve in and you look at solutions as a group or individually to change that, to make their process more streamlined. Mock interviews, really, really important. If you have an interview, you need to make sure that you say in the right things, that you give in the right, right answer. You say, I am the best person for this job because of this reason, this reason, this reason. We will give you all of the tools working with our businesses so that when you do go to interview and you will at some point in your lives, you have the tools to nail it and get it right. And then fast track interviews and apprenticeships. So we have our finger on the pulse as to where jobs are, where those apprenticeships are and where those university courses are. So the demand for graduates for engineering roles outstrips su supply. So 20,000 new engineers are needed annually within the UK. That isn't with people retiring. So if you look at the retirement age of people that are in engineering, we need the 20,000 coming in, but we also need to get them to that level to allow the people to retire. 
So we need many, many people coming into engineering. Jobs in STEM. There are so many jobs in STEM. The world is changing digitally. Look at us here today having a virtual open event. Digital working, the use of robotics, AI, automation, it's changing how we manufacture. It's changing how we look at the, the environment and it's changing how we engineer, how we create. There are many jobs that are not even thought of 20 years ago within this list. And there are many, many more that will be available in 10 years that we've not thought of yet. We need you bright young things to create something new, something fresh that will bring through the industry. Our industry partners, Phillips 66, ABP, Tronox, Orsted, Singleton Birch, Airco, many others are working with us to ensure our young people are prepared now and for the future. Some of our industry partners are here. We enjoy a really good relationship with our industry. So we have people like the Royal Navy who are working on the Royal Navy Challenge that Ian will talk to you about. The Royal Air Force. We took year nines last year out to the Royal Air Force and we were really lucky to, to see that the, the Red Arrows landed and they've got a full Red Arrows experience. We cannot guarantee that they'll land again, but fingers crossed for next time. And also we work on mini projects. So we work closely with, with Singleton Birch, Tronox. We have a member of staff from Tronox who works with us on secondment here as one of our engineering teachers. We do so much with a lot of the companies. Philips 66, a massive brand within the Humber, a, a giant oil refinery, all said the world's most sustainable company are working with us here and now. We also have a wonderful partnership with the University of Hull, who support all of our students that aim for the highest achievement, achievements they can get, but are also here to support with questions about finance. Where do I live? What do I study? What does university look like? Apprenticeship providers are also keeping our students informed of vacancies across the UK. Our students are given the tools to go in all positive directions. As long as it's positive, we will support you into that direction. And that takes me on to destinations. 100% of our year 11 and year 13 students last summer went into positive destinations. We support that application, the mock interview, getting them to interview, everything we can do to get them to the right place and have the skills. You know, they say, what have you done in engineering before? We've worked on the green power car. I've created this, we solved this. So there's all different things that students are doing all the time to ensure that they, they have the confidence, they have the communication skills and they can work with our industry providers to develop that and move them forwards for the future. So that is it for me. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon. Hi everyone, my name is Karen Arundel. I'm the area lead with the University of Hull. Part of my role is working really closely with the NLUTC, um, which I really enjoy um, being in partnership with. The students are amazing to work with, as are the staff. Um, and at the moment, due to the COVID situation, we're working on a really exciting engineering face shields project, which has been an absolute joy to work with the students on. Well, my name is Lauren Little and I work for a company called Orsted, who are partners with the UTC. So Orsted are best known for being the global leader in offshore wind energy, but we have a really big base right here in the Humber on the port of Grimsby, where we operate for offshore wind farms. And one of those is called Hornsey One, which is the largest wind farm that's ever been built. We really love providing some activities for you to take part in during your at-home studying, and we've loved seeing your submissions of at-home offshore wind turbines that you've been building. So try to stay focused on your studies best you can, and we really look forward to seeing you and working on even more fun activities with you when normal studying resumes. So watch this space. Well, there's a few things that I like about the U2C, but the main one is like, how practical like all the lessons are and how so like the teachers talk to you as if like you're a person and not like just someone that goes to the school. They talk they put you in like a business environment and you learn a lot of employability skills. 
and um, there's no like there's lots of people that you can meet here, different people with different backgrounds, and it's like there's no bullying goes on here. They just um, they deal really well with like the selection of the students that come here, and like the, the past year that I've been here, it's been the best school year I think I've had of my life. I've really focused on my behaviour compared to the last school that I was at. So, yeah. Hello, well that just brings us to the end of our open, virtual open event. Just got a few minutes to take a few questions that have come through. Uh, first question is from a family in Brig. I feel my child is too young to be changing schools in year nine and leaving their friends, but they're really interested in engineering. Uh, thank you, family in Brig. Uh, um, I can understand changing schools at 13 is a big decision, uh, but so are some of the decisions that they're about to make about their GCSE options and their future careers. Uh, we understand that friendships are important at their age, but every student joining us in year nine is joining us afresh. So that means that your child is able to form those new bonds and friendships uh, with the other children whilst also gaining a broad education consisting of both the academic, technical, and the practical studies that they're really interested in. And if your child is really interested in engineering, there is literally nowhere else in the area that offers this type of opportunity to study a broad STEM curriculum from such a young age. Um, we'll take another question. What are the benefits to my child in joining the ENL UTC? Well, your child can join uh, the ENL UTC in both year nine and year 12, and there are benefits in either year group, whether your child is wanting to eventually go on to an apprenticeship or full-time work or university degree. Uh, when they leave, we can help because our curriculum here has been specifically designed alongside some of the region's leading employers. So that means that our students gain both the academic qualifications, but also the industry knowledge that goes with it, the skills and the confidence that's needed by the future employers. And that's what puts them ahead of the competition. Uh, and a couple more questions. Are there many females who attend? Uh, probably the most common question asked by any female student wanting to attend here. Uh, I'd love to say yes, but unfortunately due to stereotypes uh, still associated with engineering, many people believe that the, the STEM careers are just for boys. That's not the case. Um, and here at the ENL UTC, we're really proud to be starting to break down those barriers to ensure that STEM careers are an option for more young females. Um, every year here, we're gaining more, appli more applicants that are female and more interest from females. Uh, and this year and previous years, we take our female um, engineers to the WIMI, which is the Women into Manufacturing and Engineering event that happens every year. Uh, and there they can listen to female experts in the industry and be inspired and look at the opportunities that's available to them. Uh, last question. I'm not sure what I want to do when I'm older, but really enjoy engineering. Uh, that's nothing to worry about. The engineering, if you come here, encompasses a wide range of career opportunities um, from things like aeronautical to cybersecurity, mechanical to product designer. There are so many options that require the STEM skills that you'll study here. So due to this, the curriculum has been designed specifically alongside some of the region's leading employers uh, and to ensure that both the GCSE and A-level get you both the experience, the qualifications, and skills that you need to take you on any career path you desire. And you never know, we might even help you discover a side of engineering you've never even considered before. Well, that brings us to the end of today. Um, please have a look at our website if you want to know more about making an application for year nine or year 12 in September. Thank you, stay well.